You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have a newer face for Greater Brockton today. I have Cindy Pendergast, and she today is representing the Village Neighborhood Association. That's right. So let's talk about the Village Neighborhood Association. Let's talk about some things you want to talk about, and then I'll kind of interrupt with a couple of questions. Sounds good. Okay. So as you mentioned, I'm Cindy Pendergast, and I'm here representing the Village Neighborhood Association. So the village is the part of the city on the north side used to be called the Lithuanian village. Mm -hmm. And later it's kind of adopted, if you say the village, if people know what that is. It kind of sounds cool. Yeah, definitely. And it's a hipper. hipper and you village. are, you live nearby the, vi the village, so or are you live, actually in the village? Absolutely, yeah, I've been in the, I've been a homeowner in the village for 35 years. Okay. And um, so last year, the neighborhood, the Village Neighborhood Association was formed, and uh, it's a, just a group of residents that came together and the goal is, you know, we believe that everyone deserves to live in a safe, beautiful, vibrant, and healthy neighborhood. And so we're actually putting on an event coming up on September 6th. Mm -hmm. It's called After School Fun in the Park. Okay. And it's kind of geared for kids because what we did was we built a, a little free library. And mm -hmm. um, it's all been, it's being painted as we speak, but it's going to be installed at McKinley Park. So on February, um, September 6th at 4.30, oh. we're gonna have an event. And um, so it's gonna be the unveiling of the Little Free Library, but we have this beautiful event designed for families and kids. So In that beautiful park that yep. the Patriots donated right. money and resources for, right at right the corner. It's Hovenden and, and Winter. Winter. Okay, yep. I was going to miss yeah, the winter. Yeah, it's on that little magic triangle. Yeah, it's, an, it's always been yeah. there. I, my whole life, I've had a lot of friends in the village over yeah. the course of time, and I used to go over there. I, I was raised on Ash Street, but uh, I had a lot of friends on the north side. Yeah. Beautiful park. The village that I remember was amazing. Yeah. And Joanne Zygmunt is your president? That's correct. Okay, and yeah. I know she's a real advocate, obviously like yourself, for the village. She ran for city council, and now she's put her energies into doing great community work because right. there are all sorts of ways to serve. You don't have to be elected. Right. Okay. That's right. And she's a go-getter. And I know John Drazinskis, my friend John and Cheryl Lee, they're involved That's over right. there. You got a good group. It's yeah. a good neighborhood. It's a good neck of the woods. And I congratulate you. I, I've been trying in my spare time to do something with Hancock Park Neighborhood oh, Association. I see. Lynn Smith started all these different associations mm. and she's helping people to spread the word. Right. So this is a great event. Now, yeah. you're telling me that the author of the book that's sitting right in front of us, right. I Took the Moon for a Walk, good book, yeah. is coming to be part that's of the right. program. So um, we contacted a local author, uh, Carolyn Curtis. She's from Stoughton. And so she agreed to come and speak. And so this is her book. I took the moon for a walk, and it's just a beautiful little book. And she's going to come and read from her book, and we'll donate the, f the book to the library, the Little Free Library. And we have um, a few to give away. So we're okay. going to be giving away gonna, some books. And um, pick this up. This is a pretty comprehensive yeah. uh, children's book. I'm just going to show it a little yeah. bit more for a second. Yeah. But I'm looking at this book, and it's pretty beefy. I, I, I loved reading to my kids when yeah. they were little. I, yeah. I'm a library guy on the library board, so it all kind of ties in, ties together. The little free libraries are a wonderful expansion because not everybody can get to the library and they can take a book and leave a book. That's the whole concept, That's exactly right? That's exactly right. Um, who built the little free library? So Joanne Zygmunt's uncle oh, cool. built the little library. And um, I'm actually an artist when I'm not working hard at my job. And so I've been putting the decoration on it, the paintings on it Ooh. so it's it's going to be an unveiling i have a feeling that, it might be the nicest little free uh. library in the city because <laughs> i was just going by the one on near the masonic lodge and there's no front on it it got oh. vandalized oh, and boy. some of them have been vandalized we have one that's a newspaper box oh. former newspaper box that's down in downtown mm -hmm. they're all over the city there's one near near me in hancock park and I think it's a great idea. I, 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 every place I go, I'm a, I'm, I'm a book addict. Yeah. So No, um, I think it's going to be great. What you can't do is bring the public library books to no, the Little Free Library. No, 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 no. <laughs> they won't make it back to the library. No. So this is you know, strictly for this free, so can, free exchange. You can right. take it, 
Right. Read it, keep it, and maybe leave another book behind That's for somebody right. else, right. right? I think it's great. Yeah. So, so September 6th is actually Read a Book Day. Oh, okay. So it's, it's a strategic choice of the dates. Um, so it's an after-school event. So it's the first week kids are back to school, but um, you know, it'll be after school starting at 4.30. And so we thought the whole idea of Read a Book Day, let's unveil the Little Free Library. We have um, Carolyn Curtis coming. We also have Paul Engel from the Brockton Public Library is going to come and, and say a few words. And, you know, the whole idea is to inspire reading. Mm -hmm. You know, the other day our cable went out and my husband was like, oh, no. And I said, hey, you could read a book. You don't need cable. You don't need electricity unless you're Because when you don't night. have cable, when you're all tied in together and packaged, you don't have internet. <laughs> right. Exactly. And I don't know about you. I like to read an actual physical yeah. book. I have a reader. Tactile. But I like to turn the pages. Right, right. So this event, you know, is to inspire reading, but it's also to help build community. So we have a face painter slash balloon twister person coming. We're going to have um, a few different crafts that the kids will be able to do. We're going to have snacks because it's after school. Sure. You know, so we'll yeah. have snacks. But um, it's going to be a great event, and so far the weather looks good. So. Yeah, is there a weather plan if it yep. isn't? Yep. Okay. So, what we'll do is, for weather-related updates, we will put it on our Facebook page yeah. and our website. Okay. So. Village Neighborhood Park Association. So our website, if you want to know. Yes, please. Is, I have it right here, villagenabrockton.com. Okay. And our Facebook page is Village Neighborhood Association. Okay. So we'll definitely post any updates. I liked you know, it, even though I don't live in the village. I like to know when all the events are going on. Yeah. and. Joanne does a nice job yeah. and the people that post and all of that. So um, I can tell you're psyched. <laughs> it's super exciting. You know, like I said, I've been in the village for 35 years. And when I found out that Joanne had started this neighborhood association, I'm like, I'm all in. I love it. And so we've been doing, you know, getting to know each other. And I even have um, my neighbor next to me. She grew up in her house. And when I told her that there was a neighborhood association, she said, that, that makes me want to stay in this in Good. this neighborhood, you know, and not retire to Florida. Well, people are close <laughs> you know? and, and And that yeah. was it always been a very strong neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, it was predominantly Lithuanian. And right. when the church closed, there's they still all went a lot to of Avon. There's still a lot over there. Yeah. We had a former mayor, David Crosby, who Crosby Gardens is named oh, after. He right, was Lithuanian. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I will tell you what I miss over there. I miss the bakery. Yeah. Because I love the dark ride. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was a beautiful associate, a beautiful neighborhood. It still is. And, and mm -hmm. I go, John has a picnic every year. I just went to his picnic oh. in July. And uh, it's a nice neck of the woods. So I commend you for what you're doing, your involvement. I can't wait to see your art. I really can't. I know my staff got a sneak peek, but I'll have to wait, yeah. right? Yes. Okay, so um, just to recap, it's we have less than a minute left. Mm -hmm. Friday, September 6th, 4.30 to, to six. six after school fun in the park at McKinley Park, which is on the corner of Hovenden and Winter. It's the park that you see all the Patriots logos mm -hmm. on right. over there and all sorts of events. Re book reading, um, crafts, crafts, balloons, snacks, twisting, yep, face painting, face painting, the games. whole nine yards. Yeah. So it's not too early for Halloween. You can get your face painted. That's right. Cindy, thanks. Pleasure to have Thank you Thank you on. for having me. Okay, and we'll be there. Thank you. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.